Hi guys, my name is Evelyn Kim, and for today's video, we'll be going over Wylock's third grade math curriculum. Topics we'll be going to cover in today's video include addition, division, multiplication, and word problems. Let's get started with our first topic, addition. Number one, 600 plus 20 plus 3. First, let's align the numbers vertically so it's easy for us to solve. 600, oh, 600 plus 20 plus 3. 3 plus 0 plus 0 equals 3. 2 plus 0 equals 2. Bring down the 6. The total is 620. 600 plus 20 plus 3 should equal 623. Number 2, 20 plus 4. We align the numbers vertically. 0 plus 4 equals 4. Bring down the 2. So our final answer is 24. 20 plus 4 equals 24. Number three, 70 plus two. Align the numbers vertically. Two plus zero equals two. Bring down to seven. Our final answer is 72. 70 plus two should equal 72. Number seven, 4,000 plus 900. Let's align the numbers vertically so it's easy for us to solve. Zero plus zero equals 0, 0 plus 0 equals 0, 0 plus 9 equals 9. We bring down the 4. 4,900 is the total of 4,000 plus 900. Number 8, 600 plus 9. Align the numbers vertically. 9 plus 0 equals 0. We bring down the 0 and we bring down the 6. Our total is 609. Last but not least, we have number 9, 300 plus 60 plus 9. We first align the numbers vertically. 9 plus 0 plus 0 should equal 9. 6 plus 0 should equal 6. And we bring down the 3. 300 plus 60 plus 9 should equal a total of 369. Our second topic is division, and it's asking us to divide the numbers below. Number 1, they give us the equation 30 divided by 5. The opposite of division is actually multiplication, so therefore, memorizing and knowing the multiplication table can help us lots when dividing. 30 divided by 5. We know that 5 times 6 equals 30, and 6 times 5 also equals 30. Therefore, 30 divided by 5 should equal a total of 6. Number 2, 68 divided by 2. 68 is a much bigger number compared to the other problems we usually solve. In this case, we set it up like this, 68 divided by 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 3 times 2 should equal 6, and then you subtract. 6 minus 6 should equal 0, you bring down to 8, and then 2 goes into 8 4 times. 4 times 2 equals 8. We put the 8 here. We subtract. 8 minus 8 equals 0. Therefore, 68 divided by 2 should equal 34. Number 11. 8 divided by 4 should equal what? We know that 4 times 2 equals 8. And 2 times 4 also equals 8. Therefore, we can infer that 8 divided by 4 should equal 2. Number 12, 15 divided by 3. We know that 3 times 5 equals 15. And 5 times 3 equals 15. Therefore, 15 divided by 3 should equal 5. Our third topic is multiplication, and it's asking us to multiply the numbers below. Number 1, it gives us the numbers 2 times 4. 2 times 4 can also be referred as two groups of 4. Now, let's draw it out so it's easy for us to understand. 1, 2, 3, 4. First group, 1, 2, 3, 4. Our second group, we now have two groups of four circles. Now, let's add it all together to find our final answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Two groups of four has a total of eight, thus meaning that two times four also equals eight. Number 11, six times six. Six times six can also be referred as six groups of six. Let's draw it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. First group, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Second group, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
third group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fourth group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fifth group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth group. We now have a total of six groups with six circles each. Now, let's add it all together to find our final answer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. We have a total of 36. 6 times 6 equals 36. The last topic is word problems, and it's asking us to solve the problems below. Number one, Kai has 50 crayons. He breaks 16 of them, loses half of the remaining crayons. How many crayons does he have left? The key words, breaks and loses, indicates that this is a two-step problem. He starts off with 50 crayons, and he breaks 16 of them. Therefore, we need to subtract 16 from 50 to find how many crayons Kai has after breaking 16 of his crayons. 0 minus 6, we cannot do that, so we're going to borrow from the 10s. 5 becomes a 4, 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 6 equals 4, 4 minus 1 equals 3. Now, Kai has 34 crayons after breaking 16 of his 50 crayons. However, he loses half of his remaining crayons. Losing half indicates that we need to divide. We need to divide 34 divided by 2 to determine the other half that is left after he loses half of his 34 crayons. 34 divided by 2, 2 goes into 3 one time. 2 times 1 equals 2. 3 minus 2 equals 1. Bring down the 4. 2 goes into 14 seven times. 7 times 2 equals 14. We have a remainder of 0. Therefore, Kai has a total of 17 crayons after breaking 16 of them and losing half of his remaining. Number 2. Let's erase this and get this out of the way. Lucas has a total of 16 different books. Six of them are red, four of them are green, and the rest are black. How many books are black? Like the problem above, this is another two-step problem. We have six books that are red and four books that are green with a total of 16 different books, and we need to find the remaining books that are black. Well, let's first add 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4 equals 10. These are the books that are not black. Okay, now we subtract 16 from 10 to find the total number of remaining black books out of Lucas's 16 book collection. 16 minus 10 equals 6 minus 0 equals 6. 1 minus 1 equals 0. So we have a total of 6 books that are left or remaining. Therefore, Lucas has a total of 6 black books, 6 red books, and 4 green books. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful day.